Problem number 24 continues on from the Shusaku opening after Black makes the diagonal here. What is White's response to this? White's best move is to play the here, make an extension from this. This prevents White from being pincered. Problem number 28 starts after White makes this extension. Now what should Black do in response? Black should make another diagonal, uh, or a knight's move would work as well. When Black makes this move, White would like to get this sort of approach move to prevent the corner closure again, but if he does, Black will make this pincer. But this pincer is dual purpose because it's also the optimal 5 space extension from this stone, so this is too good for Black for White to do this. Problem number 32 starts out with White making a 5 space extension instead of the 4 space extension. You know, this is, this is optimal, um, but it's still open to invasion. So after Black plays here, what should White do to reinforce this? White should make the, the Knight's move here. This still has the three space invasion here, but it's a lot easier to deal with than a full five space with, a, with some help here. Just for example, if White Tanukis and makes the corner enclosure that's so good that we talked about, Black will play here and split White in two. So we're going to jump ahead a little bit back to when white made the four space extension and then the board fleshed out a little bit more like white made a large knight corn enclosure up here black made a one space high enclosure here um but now black approached white's formation by making a one space here how should white respond to this approach Similar to what we saw before, White's move is to make the small light, and this reinforces the position enough where White's okay. So, uh, similar to before, let's say that White doesn't do that. Let's say White makes the two space extension here. What should Black do now? Well, since White didn't reinforce this stuff, this is relatively okay because it still has some room to expand up here, even if White does get in here. Black should throw it and invade. Invading this way, not the other way, because black has reinforcements on here. It's a little bit harder for black to be okay on this side, so you want to invade on the side closer to your reinforcement stone. Uh, if white jumps, then black will pull back and swallow the stone. If alternatively, white decides to try and save the stone by attaching here, then black will hane and then jump. White is now split in two. After this, you may notice this cut looks like it could be a problem. But if white does cut there, black will just Atari and extend a couple times. White is connected here, but now after this, black will just jump here. And now black completely swallowed up this stone, dominates the whole top side here. 